Hi, I'm Paul Feruza with Rochester Midland Corporation. In this training demonstration, we're going to discuss the proper techniques of using a three basic system. But first, as always, we have to have the proper personal protective equipment, the PPE. Gloves and safety glasses. Make sure all three compartments of sink are clean, sanitized, and labeled with wash, rinse, and sanitize stickers. Turn on water and the detergent knob to an on position to begin dispensing dishwashing solution into wash compartment. Turn knob to the off position when full and turn off the water. Next, fill your rinse compartment with water, turn water off when full. Then, using room temperature water, turn sanitizer knob to the on position to dispense sanitizer. Fill your sanitizer compartment. Turn knob on dispenser to the off position and turn off water. Use your quat test strips to verify PPM of sanitizer solution. Insert quat strip into sanitizer solution for at least 10 seconds and verify 200 ppm color on box. Sanitizer solution should be checked at least 4 times per day. Wash all lightly soiled items first, followed by heavy soiled items. Change cleaning and rinse compartments when visibly soiled. For pre-wash, begin by scraping all heavily soiled items into a garbage can. Then pre-soak items in wash compartment. Agitate if necessary. Rinse all items in the rinse compartment of the sink. Then sanitize all items in the sanitizer compartment. Remove and let air dry. Before any cleaning, always check levels of your detergent and sanitizer. When empty, remove cap from new pail. Unscrew cap and carefully remove the dip tube from empty pail and insert into the new pail. Screw cap on tightly. Cap the empty pail and dispose. Be sure to only transfer dip tubes from sanitizer to sanitizer and detergent to detergent. And always make sure you have the appropriate personal protective equipment when changing pails.